What's going on everyone, my name's Ash, and welcome to a brand new project. Uh, we're starting today, we're doing the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. Uh, we just finished uh, the Guided Fate Paradox, which was pretty good, by the way. You can check that out on my channel, wink wink. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start this today, and do some stuff in it. Get a few projects running at the same time, and all that good stuff. So more videos for you guys. So let's get this started. This place is... Who is this? Why would she? Ken... Te... Do... Fatty? Just call me a fatty. <laughs> Oh, awaken fate duty. What are you trying to tell me? It's collapsed. Okay. So this is the main protagonist? I hate humans. Beneath the surface. Every single one of them thinks the same way. It's always just about themselves and they only seek to take advantage of others. That's why I hate humans. A dream? What are you doing? Sherry. It says Airy, not Sherry. What are you doing? Isn't there pretty close? She sees something weird about me. Something extremely uncomfortable. My cast classmate. Lona. Everyone just ignores her. Huh. I'm also usually ignored by our classmates. Maybe it's proof that birds of a feather birds of a feather flock together. Or maybe it's simply the social outcast all end up in the same place. Whether I like it or not, we tend to bump into each other on a pretty regular basis for some reason. I'm guessing she likes him? <coughs> Fate and duty. Sleep talking. Oh yeah, I changed the sound language to Japanese as always. He's poking him, okay. <laughs> Well, you know. Night falls pretty fast this time of year. I'm guessing it's near winter, I guess. So I've hated this season ever since I was a kid. Like wanting to play outside longer or anything, it's because there's nothing good for me at home. Oh, okay. I want to get locked inside, then we better head home. I took my spot on this rooftop, which could be considered my usual hangout. Apparently, I fell asleep. I slept for a pretty long time, if I do say so myself. It might even be a new record. <laughs> Guess I just dozed off. But we're coming up on the season when people start catching colds when they sleep outdoors. Guessing it's near. I guess it's fall, autumn time. Let's heading towards winter. I should hurry and leave before they lock you in. But that uniform looks pretty damn awesome, I must say. Guess she said everything she wanted to say. Did you come all this way just to wake me up? She's a strange one. Or you're just a dense one. <clears throat> to still want to interact with people despite being purposely ignored by our classmates. I can't comprehend her at all. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, crows. That did not sound like crows. Just saying. Eri Shiranoi is an outcast at school. She constantly gives off a downer vibe like she's trying to avoid contact with her surroundings. With eyes that some take as sleepy and other as glary, she doesn't respond when the girls talk to her, that's why she doesn't have any friends. Well, I'm not really one to talk, I'm pretty much in the same boat. 
However, I have no problem with that, since I don't care to get along with the group if I can't get if I can't tell what they're actually thinking deep inside. If I could live a peaceful, quiet life and avoid getting involved with others as much as possible, that's the kind of world I wish for. I've been able to create a world that's close enough to perfection now, a silent world. Oh Lord, how I wish this world was eternal. Uh, some silly things I think about as I'm walking home. This is, that is, until I find myself at a dead end. Oh God. Never seen before. But no matter how far I walk, I can't seem to find any familiar ground. You walk in circles for a while, as if the whole town has become a giant maze without an exit. It's a bit creepy. This is impossible, things like this only happen in movies and comics. Because there's some kind of mysterious power is possible. Okay then. They only swoop down for a sky above. Surrounding corner me. Okay. These guys aren't human. My fear is instinctively and firmly alarming me of that fact. It pulls out a sword, not a knife, but a sword. Kshan's red, ironically enough, it's beautiful to the point of being otherworldly. Uh, <laughs> some kind of joke? I do see your eyes, man. But you need to die. Okay then. Oh, she got stabbed. That's not even a sword, that's a rapier. You can't even it's not even thick enough to be a sword. Proper sword anyway. Can't stand up. The sword is sticking out of my chair, but it's rather peculiar sign. No crap, you're getting stabbed. Cough. In an instant I'm engulfed in the scent of rust. Blood and I can't breathe. The temperature of my whole body lowers and it keeps getting colder and colder. Not moving for oh, what I see and hear, it all feels like it's happening far away. Am I dying? No, I don't want this. I don't want to die yet. Well, hello. Someone comes to save you. I think from the voice, it signs a bright light upon the world. A lone girl. Without hesitation, she readies her sword as if to protect me. She could not make it in time. One warning, if I place this beam under my care if you intend to get in my way. Every time her drawn sword gleams, another one of those guys collapses whilst without a sound. Like puppets with their strings cut. And Dan, she glides through a rain of showering swords. One collapses, then another. The instant she's down to the last one, she again readies her sword and makes a you are the only one left. The group seems to have retreated, but I must be losing control of my body since my vision is starting to blur. My field of vision is gradually narrowing. All I can hear is my shallow breathing and my heartbeat, which is on the verge of stopping. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah, you're definitely okay. Get stabbed. About to die. I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, we'll get back to Celestia. Infer if you take me to a hospital. <laughs> Feels like floating sensation. Oh, see, I'm gonna die. I guess I've reached that out body experience phase. I guess I'm not going to hell. Can't recall being especially good, but I guess I haven't been that bad either. <laughs> yes, I'm going to heaven. <laughs> Makes sense. Hang. I think it's hang in there. Stay strong. From what? Yeah. Aren't working anymore, her face looks really blurry too. That's cool, we're going back to Celestia from the first game. Bit of a nice throwback there. All I know is falling into a dark, cold place. But did I really wish for something like this? For some reason, I feel completely empty. Why was I born? And what was the purpose of my life? Been seeking that answer to my whole life. Uh, is there any wonder that question would pop into my mind at this very moment? Even if I got an answer, it wouldn't really matter now. I'm dying. Don't count yourself out just yet. Oh, you're back here. My field of vision returned. 
is a success. Who are you? Are you alright? Where am I and who are these people? We've been here before, but you know. She protected me. Hmm? Testing, uh, testing. Uh, Answer me. I can't hear. It seems okay. There's no way a genius scientist like me could ever fail. You seem very calm. Time is too precious right now, however, I will tell you our names. I'm... Ariel Agari. Jupi? Jupiel. Soraumi. Ariel Agari, Jupiel Soraumi. Japanese Americans, half? Swirling inside my hair. My head. Kamikaze Shin. Kamikaze Shin. Investigated. Sounds a bit creepy. You've already died once. You died. You resurrected you. I thought I was dead, but what? I was resurrected? Terribly sorry. That's the only way to save you. We have no choice. Wait, wait. What not making any sense. Don't have time, so you need to wake up. What's important starts now. You must find the exit to get out of here. When you do, your mind will turn to the real world. I don't really understand, so I just nod. She continues on with her speech. I shall serve as your guide. Then go home. Oh. Is this is the tragic love triangle. Do your best. Guess they don't get along very well. Even though I don't really get what's going on, I prefer if they didn't make decisions without me, especially if it involves my life and my life and death. Game on. Let's start walking. Let's go, I'm guessing this is mission for a prologue-ish, prologue chapter 1, mission 1.